I'm Maria Menunos, and you're tuned in to AfterBuzz TV, the ESPN of TV talk. Now, let the buzz begin. Love it. He's so Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back, welcome back to welcome your back. favorite panel. You know who it is, Sierra and Subba. Period. What? Uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> so we are, well, welcome back, I should say. Love and Hip Hop New York panel. I'm Sierra Stafford, and of course, the beautiful Saba Halliburton. How are you doing tonight? I'm doing good, boo. How are you, gorgeous? I'm doing good. I'm excited for this episode. Me too. You know, last week, it was a little, it was a little uh, stale. Oh, <laughs> very. It was a little very stale. A little but mundane. This week, they just kind of, <laughs> they just threw it at us and didn't stop. Oh, yeah. They, they, they were, like, making up for last the last episode, uh, hey? Definitely. They gave yeah. us last weekend this week, so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's so, get it this way, okay? No, seriously. So, <laughs> as we like to say, let's get straight into it. I don't like to waste no time. Um, mm-hmm. I know you guys are just waiting to hear. And please join in the chat because these are topics that we really want to hear what you guys think because we're very opinionated about these topics. Yeah. So, please let us know what you guys think as we do this journey. That's right. But uh, first thing that happened, so we're going to go in order of the episode happened tonight. Mm-hmm. So, episode 13, season 10. So opens up with Fresher. Um, you know he's talking to Papoose, and uh, um, as he's at the ring shop, he wants to propose to Jen. Mm-hmm. And you know, of course, I know me and you probably feel the same about this, but of course, like the first thing we see is like Papoose. I mean, sorry, uh, Fresher trying to buy a ring, and we're like, are y'all either in the ring phase right now? <laughs> um, <laughs> Like what's happening? Yes. But and but what I love about Pat Poos is you know he puts things in perspective to, for him like he always does. So he's kind of like you know I love how he sees a woman's perspective. Like mm-hmm. he always can speak for a woman and it be accurate. Oh. Most men can't do that. Um, so he kind of goes love like him. you know well do you feel like just because you give her this thousand dollar ring doesn't solid like make up for all the damage you've done and mm-hmm. doesn't just fix things overnight for her and she has to heal. Straight so what do you up. think about this whole scene? Girl, you know, I, I agree with Papoose. Yeah. That's exactly, like, everything he said verbatim was exactly what was running through my mind. And you you are also right when you say he knows how to speak for a woman. Like, he knows how to put himself in a woman's shoes. It's amazing, honestly. And it'd be right. Because some yeah. men can do it, but they just be talking out their neck. And it's yeah. like, what are you saying, sir? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. You know <laughs> what I'm saying? There's the men who try to think, you know, they know how a woman feels. And then there's the men who know, know how a woman feels. And he definitely knows. And that's why him and Remy are going so strong. I guess. And they will stay strong. I always say, Remy, you got you a good one. Mm-hmm, Because I don't miss too many papooses. Oh, my lord. <laughs> More like none at all. Well, except for my man. <laughs> yeah, shout out to shout, shout out to my boo. Yeah, shout out. Give him credit, sis. <laughs> You're like my boos. <laughs> look, because he, he gonna watch to be like, excuse you. <laughs> I know, bro. See, that's why I had to save myself. But anyway, yeah. Besides that, <laughs> yeah. Besides that, you know, Papoose, Honestly, like he is just such a real G. Honestly, he mm-hmm. is. He is a man. He is the ladies' man. Well, lady mm-hmm. for one lady. Mm-hmm. <laughs> man and his daughters you know <laughs> exactly you know and he's just so committed he's so thoughtful he's so caring he just really knows he knows how to just you know think of other people's feelings before mm-hmm. himself he is just amazing he he i, I really want to know I like i want to meet advice. his parents if there's you know still you know i want to meet his parents because it's Girl. like i just want to know like why is he so different yeah like y'all well, if you, you if you haven't watched the show and don't know how papoose is like you guys this man is like a man i've never seen before in mm. real life Mm-hmm. on TV mm-hmm. just a stranger mm-hmm. <laughs> like, <laughs> like and I'm not boosted like we're it's facts it's like facts. this man has yeah. was raised by Jesus <laughs> and Mary <laughs> and Mary cuz listen but <laughs> But we appreciate Pat Poos, you yeah. know, just being there because, you know, Fresher really did take on his advice. And I feel like everyone takes his advice. Yeah. And, you know, Fresher was like, you know, I'm right. Now, although Fresher, I feel like, knows right from wrong regardless of what Pat Poos says, yeah. he still kind of does dumb stuff. Yeah. But, yeah. you know, we'll get into that. Um, yeah. See, and I, I don't think, just real quick, I just want to insert yeah, this. Like, I really don't think Fresher is, like, I, I feel like he hears Papoose, but I don't think he's listening. You know what I'm saying? You of know course. the difference? He just wants you to know what he's going to do at the end Like, of the when day. you hear somebody, it can go through one ear, not the other. But was he listening? You know, was he, like, you know, banking that information in his mental, you know, no. bank account? Like, 
I just don't think so. I, I, I'm sorry, Fresher. Like, I want to have all the faith in the world. Yeah. But, you know, your actions speak louder than your words. So, I don't know. Well, we can stick, we're going to stick on the Fresher topic. That's right. Because, yeah. So, we're going to stick on the Fresher topic. Yeah. So, he actually does propose. Yep. Um, I was actually surprised because, you know, like in the snippets, they kind of make it look like someone going to go left. But, no. you know. <laughs> but, I mean, of course, knowing their history and even know how upset she is, she's going to marry the man. Yeah. You know, regardless of how everything is going on right now. Yeah. And I just want to say, like, I feel like, because he kept saying, you know, like, this is my childhood sweetheart. Like, we've been dating since I was a kid. Mm. I want to be with her. I want my family back. I don't want to be a bum father only see my kids here and there, which I believe all of that. Mm -hmm. But you can still want those things, mm -hmm. but not do the things needed to keep those things. Mm -hmm. And I feel like as and a lot of and I feel like a lot of men are like this. Not even just fresher. Like mm. I feel like men can be so selfish. They want their cake and eat it too. Yes. And I feel like as women, we kind of put ourselves in the hole because we keep taking them back, mm -hmm. feeling like just because they said they'll change and then they never change. Yes. So in this case, you know Girl. they have kids. They're grown. Mm -hmm. A ring, even like Pat Poo said, a ring don't do nothing. Mm. I know many people that cheat. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of like. Like you, I want to have hope. And I always want to, and I love love. Yeah. And I mm -hmm. always want to speak positive with somebody's Amen. love. Amen. Yeah. But we can only go what we're seeing. Yeah. Or exactly. what we're shown. Yeah. And Pap, I mean, I'm sorry. No, not Papoose, honey. No, mm -hmm. not Papoose. No, um, no, no, I never him. Fresher. <laughs> <laughs> like, fresher, he's just not, he's not you're giving not, me that. You're not sold. Right? I'm not sold. You're, you're, you're not buying what he's selling. And I'm the same way, girl. Because you can I'm propose to me buying. all day, but if I don't feel like, you're a husband. Yeah. It don't really mean that. It's not going right. to move me. Exactly. And and let's actually talk about the scene. Yeah. The actual scene yeah. where he proposes to Jennifer. And like, girl, I don't know what you saw. I'm sure you saw the same thing that I saw. But there was something about um, Jennifer's reaction and even her just saying yes. It, it just wasn't like you could tell she was apprehensive about it. You could tell like she didn't. You, you could tell, like, she said yes only because it was such a theatrical environment. Yep. You know what I'm saying? He did it at his music video shoot. Tons of people around. You know, his mama was there. Even she had a funny look on her face. And, like, it's funny because <laughs> they had a funny <laughs> look. Then after the end, they all, like, cheese. And I'm like, right? I saw the original look. His kids <laughs> were there. You know what I'm saying? They were super excited. They went running up to him and their mama. Like, you know, they were so happy. Because, of course, being the kids, this is what they want. They want to see their parents together. Okay? That's what every child wants. Even when they know that they have messed up parents they want to see <laughs> y'all together yeah. they hate to see their parents separated yeah. you know what i'm saying like i i know i've seen that you know yeah. what i'm saying I've, I've seen that and i've been around kids growing up that like they just want to see their parents together even though they know they shouldn't be even though yeah. it's clearly a toxic but relationship they don't understand it fully they, yeah they don't understand that you know all they care about is i just want my family to be together you know what i'm saying so i almost kind of feel like Fresher, like tactfully set up that environment, knowing that he was gonna get an inevitable yes. Yep. You see what I'm saying? Even she said it. She was kind of like, I just looked back at my family, see, I and I just. Know what I'm talking about. And you know, cause even cause it, we'll see next week because she kind of dives back into it. She's kind of like, you know, I don't want to spill it, but she kind of re dives back into this whole like, marriage thing. Uh -huh. we'll, we'll see next week. That's right. But yeah, like just seeing her face, I feel like, like you said, if if all the family wasn't there, she probably. I I don't know if she would have said no, but it would have been more drawn out. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. But I'm, but I'm with her. I feel like regardless of the history, regardless of what y'all want to be, you have to prove me to that before I let you put a ring on my finger. And mm -hmm. even even if I do keep the ring, ain't nothing happening. Mm-hmm. Ain't nothing happening mm -hmm. till I see something happening. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so. See, and that's why I just feel like they don't have a successful relationship because nobody is really, like, setting the boundaries or putting their foot down. Well, which really is Jennifer. You know, she needs to set these boundaries and put her foot down. It's like either, listen, you, fresher, you get it together. You be the man that I need you to be. If you so-called love me, you know, and you've loved me since My we were kids. Me. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? And you want to be here for me, the family. You want to see us all together as one happy unit. It's like, okay, if, if that's really what you want, I got to see it. You know, don't just, exactly like Papu said, don't just, you know, throw jewelry in my face and make, you know, cut, mask it up with pretty things to make me believe that you're a changed man. No, I got to see that you're a changed man. Because for a real woman, I'm going to tell you, fellas, here's some tips and advice. A yeah. real woman, that'll move them. Yeah. Now, one of these little side pieces, they may glorify it. Yeah. But somebody that's like serious about what they want, mm -hmm. it won't move them. So as much as you, as much as we love jewelry, it won't mm -hmm. move us, sweetie. Exactly. Love, so, love wins. We, we, exactly. You know, we got to see that from from jennifer before i feel like 
not only as the audience we can respect her but f so like you know so fresher can respect her too yeah, yeah. you know what i'm saying because he almost knows he can get away with the things he does and that's why i spoke did, on did, that you know yeah what I'm yeah that's what i spoke like, on that earlier yeah. that's why he stays cheating and stays doing beyond trifling ish he stays doing that okay with the latest case being jada in which this man extorted like 40 thou actually 70 thou but you know they came to an agreement of 40 thou over like you know what i'm saying he did like he did that yeah. you know what i'm saying and then you know jennifer's got the nerve and i mean we're gonna get into that but you know jennifer's got the nerve to come at jada it's like girl bye there's nothing to respect about jennifer okay and there's clearly nothing to respect about fresher so those two i feel like if they don't really get down to the nitty gritty and really start like honoring and respecting one another that relationship is just going to keep going in circles literally literally going with the circles. ring on and all yeah yeah <laughs> And With that the ring and all. And listen, I ain't trying to get married to be cheating, so we're gonna pray for them, y'all. Straight uh, up. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, girl. So um another family that we wanna make sure we pray for is um the Jewels family. Um, so Kim Bella received a letter and from Joel's, you know, he's in prison right now and basically saying, you know, make sure the entire family gets this letter. So, you know, twin, uh, Joel's, Joel's brother was there, their mom was there and all the kids were there. And, you know, I was kind of like anticipating this letter. I was like, I don't know if it's going to be something good or bad. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm pretty sure we felt their nerves. Um, and so long story short, you know, he's just like, you know, I feel like I'm drowning. You know, I miss my family. You know, they just had a new baby girl. Yeah. He didn't get to really witness her being born and all the things that come with having a new child. That was sad. Oh, it was, you guys, it was so sad. I didn't cry this time, which is really weird because I always yeah. cry. Um, <laughs> that's true. But I was like, nah, -uh, not today. Yeah. Not today. Um, <laughs> I got to get through this. I got to get through this. And, you know, I just want to say, like, you know, um, I really wish that now I don't want to you know what I'm not gonna say that because it's kind of two different tactics but I really wish that the way that Kimbella can be like you know family family which family in this is very important mm -hmm. I do not want to mix her family business with her friendship business mm -hmm. but I feel like some of her friends she's beefing with have been like her family too yeah and I just wish that she like she can put down aside things for like she does with her family. Mm, mm -hmm. You know, like you put aside stuff for Chrissy because, and I don't know if it's because, you know, Jim, because of Dipset, but it's kind of like, why can you do the same thing with everyone else that you're supposed to be family with? But, you know, but back to her mm -hmm. family. Because um, <laughs> she's an opportunist. Yeah, I'm still trying to, yeah, I don't know what's going on You know on what with I'm this. saying? Like, I, I just, honestly, if anybody's fake, it's not Yandy, it's Chris, er, oh. Um, sorry, Chrissy, it's Kimbella. It's Kim Bella. This she girl's moves. She has to do for her family. Exactly. Which and, I don't and, blame and her which, for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We yeah. don't blame her for it, but yeah. it's like. But it's like, girl, the way it's Chris, very obvious. Uh huh. It is so obvious. Yeah. Exactly. Thank you. It's so obvious that you are just being an opportunist in this situation for the benefit of you and your husband. You know what I'm saying? Which I get. You know. But at the end of the day, Jewels and Jim Jones will always be friends. They didn't okay, fall out. They, they don't need... You and Chrissy did. Exactly. <laughs> it's, it's, that's exactly <laughs> what I'm saying. They don't need Kimbella and Chrissy to be cool in order for them to be cool. They well, could care less. I think it's more so now, like, I guess that he's in behind bars, so she has to keep, you know, putting the brand out. So I feel like yeah. she has to make these moves to, you know, get his music out. So I yeah. mean, I get that part, because, I mean, if he was out, then this probably wouldn't be happening. Yo, you just said something really... Like, uh -oh. wow, you, you like a light bulb went off in my head. Tell us something very enlightening <laughs> girl. You there. That's I think that's a big part of the reason right there. That is the reason. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, I just, <laughs> but wait, but hold up, hold up. If you was like, out, she wouldn't, she wouldn't be doing all this. Well, right, right, right. Not only that. Because he'll be handling it. <laughs> but, but see, we know how controlling Chrissy is. And we know how defensive and protective she is over Jim. Mm -hmm. All right. So if Kimbella, <laughs> yes, girl, if Kimbella didn't play nice with Chrissy, she could easily talk almost. Well, I mean, I don't know. I'd like to think <laughs> Jim Jones wouldn't allow this, you know, because it's like jewels, it's bad, you know, yeah. but I could see it being 10 times harder. And that's probably why. Kim Bella had to play nice with her because she knows if she stays beefing with Chrissy, it's it's going to be that much harder, if not possible, to get Jim Jones to be on a track or multiple Give my tracks. Give some claps. Yeah, that's man. That's exactly what it is. That's, see, <laughs> that's and exactly it's like, what it is. And you know what I think it is? I feel like we, we were saying that, but we were, were kind of like, like nailing it on the head. Yeah. yeah you know, like, we were like, oh, she's an opportunist. And da -da -da. Yeah. Yeah. That's exactly. 
exactly. Joelle's and Jim don't need you, y'all. You can't get through <laughs> Jim without getting through Chrissy, and Chrissy has made that clear so many times. Even though you I gotta go like, through me. Yeah, it would have been harder. I feel like, like I said, Jim and Joelle's would have still got it done, but yeah. it would have been more of a battle with the women involved. That's right. But you know, That's it right. worked out, and and in the positive side, uh-huh. it did work out. Um, and I love that Jim said, you know, he sat down with Chrissy. He was like, you know, that's my brother. I'll have this music done tomorrow, mm-hmm. the, the next day, whatever. Yesterday. Um, I'm, 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 yesterday. <laughs> yesterday. It's going to get done for my brother. So, That's and right. I love He did that. mention that he can't go see him. I don't know if it's something he has personally, like, legal-wise. I did catch that because he was like, I, I wish... Catch. He was like, I would love to see him, but I can't. Yeah, what was that all about? I don't know. But I feel like if he says it that way, he probably have reasons why... You know, he probably can't be near yeah. Jim because things like that do huh. happen. So, um, cause okay. I really feel like he wouldn't just go just not to go. Yeah, yeah. Or maybe hard yeah. for him to go, but then again, it's like y'all, y'all are me. Y'all know this lifestyle. It shouldn't be that hard to go to the gym, mm-hmm. you know. <laughs> but you guys, if you know something, please, please leave a comment yeah, below. Yeah. Cause that was a really good catch that Sierra just yeah, made, and we we want to know too. Like, what what was that was about? Really? Yeah. What is the reason? Okay. But I'm you know, but I'm glad okay. that you know Cambella does have the support of her his brother, cause you know they had a bad past. You know his mom, and so it's good that their household unity yes. is where it needs to be. So I'm I'm yes. really happy for that because I know Jules really needs it. Mm-hmm. But good news, he gets out this summer. Woo! So that was good to hear. I'm really happy for him because, I mean, I know it's probably hard to raise 14 by yourself. Yes. And, I mean, you just miss your, your family, you know. Yeah. So blessings to Joel's, you know, why he's holding it down. But, you know, hopefully we see him this summer and next next season. Yeah. Yeah. I, I And I, I, I can bet that we will. Oh, yeah. Well, of I course we will. I can bet that we will. We'll definitely good see chances. him next season. Mm-hmm. Oh, goodness. So. Who what we may got? or may not see next season because she's just so pissed. What you got? I'm just kidding. I'm Olivia. What you got? <laughs> <laughs> Olivia. Baby, she is over it with oh, everybody. Oh, Lord. So, Olivia, Yandy, and Remy, <laughs> they all, you know, went to link up, which I want to say, I love this scene because I'm just, I just feel like it's so good to finally see um, Yandy with other women. I mean, of course, she has Jonathan. Of yeah. course, you know, she ha- her and Erica are cool. Yeah. She has Sin. But it's just good to see her around other women. Yeah. And just being herself because yeah. I'm sick of her being in scenes with Chrissy and Kimbella. Yeah. I'm just happy that she's back. But but that ain't the tea though, y'all. Mm-mm. That was just my little splash. No, um, it's but, hotter than that. <laughs> it's hotter than that. <laughs> so um we all know that, you know, Remy Ma, she's a vet in the game. She's a vet in the business. So yeah. she knows how this business works. So, she right. know, I, I'm glad that she kind of gave, like, Olivia some kind of, like, background knowledge of how sometimes in this business you will think you know how something's working, mm-hmm. but it's not working. Mm-hmm. And then you have um, Yandy's take. You know, she's been in the game, too, for management. She's, you know, she knows uh, some some stuff. Right. And, you know, but she's also friends with Rich and Olivia. Right. So in the past episode, we know she talked to, we seen Yandy talk to Remy, I mean, Olivia, and then she talked to Rich. This last episode so she now got both sides of the story mm-hmm. now us watching as viewers mm-hmm. i personally see two sides of the story too now we did talk about though we don't think olivia's lying which i still don't think she's lying mm. but it's a lot of strong points that's kind of hard to differ like so who right mm. like what's happening or, or or was there a misunderstanding or mm. is there something that just need to be communicated mm-hmm. um so and and i feel like yanny's that friend that always is fair yes unbiased unbiased yes, she's always unbiased true. and you know that's what she tried to explain to her like well you know i talked to rich and you know he's kind of not feeling how you feeling and olivia took very offense to that she even started cussing and was like so i don't want to deal with this bs so this is what you're telling me you take your rich side and i'm like girl mm. she didn't say nothing about taking his side mm-hmm. she just literally said i sat down with the man and mm-hmm. i heard his side and you should talk to him. And even Remy, Remy was like, he's a changed man now. So I'm like, girl, what were you thinking? Because I was just like, Olivia, I know you hurt sis, but mm, come on. Mm-hmm. Come down. <laughs> See, and that and that's exactly what I think it was, Sierra. I think it was because she's so emotional and hurt by the situation. And, you know, and I could see this happening, especially when you know you're right. You know the truth. And when people try to, uh, like, object it. It, 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 it can be kind of easy to trip. You I mean, know yeah, what I mean? We've like, been there before. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, I know I've been there before. Like, yeah. I know when I'm lying, like, I'm a little bit more calm. Like, I'm just like, well, <laughs> it is not even true, but <laughs> you know. But, you know, when you're telling the truth, you're going to make a fuss. Like, you're like, no, no. Like, and you know, yeah. and that's why she reacted the way she did also with Cisco. She just tripped out, you know what I'm saying? Um, And that's why she reacted that way, even with Yandy. And I was actually a little surprised. I was surprised. I was like, oh, Olivia, you got attitude. Like and I was I've like, I've never seen that kind of attitude at she, all. She swore. But she swore, Yandy. She swore, girl. 
And I mentioned to you, like, I mentioned to you watching, I was like, it's kind of funny because you didn't have this, you had the same energy when it became with uh, Chrissy and Yandy. You know, mm. you didn't want to be in between. Mm. And you were trying to tell your piece how basically, like, you didn't think Yandy was wrong. Wow. So girl, it's kind of like, Olivia. Points. You Now you're in the same boat. So good what do you do now? Right. She just, be, she didn't say, you. she literally didn't say you are wrong. She didn't say Rich was right or wrong. Wow. She just literally said, I talked to both of y'all. And oh. I heard both sides. So you should go talk to the man to get some clarity. That's Damn. literally what she said. Damn. So yeah. you're so on edge that you missed all of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You missed all of that, yeah. T-Sis. <laughs> I you... love you, but you missed it. <laughs> and Yandy, <laughs> that's the last thing Yandy needs. <laughs> she's already on thin ice with, you know, not supposedly having people's backs, even though she's not yeah. in the wrong. But, you know, Kim Bella's already, you know, spreading rumors and lies about her. You know, she didn't have my back enough and da-da-da-da. And then, you know, now we got Olivia kind of on that same tip. So it's like, that's the last thing yeah. Yandy needs. I don't think it's going to get dragged down. Yeah. like she's not having their back, you yeah, know? Yeah. Because that's not what it is. We know what it is with Yandy. Yeah. Like you said, she's a very unbiased woman. You know, she she will look at all sides of the story in order for her to come to her, you know, final conclusion. And, and again, like you said, you know, she's not... She she's not backing up Richie. At she's all. just saying, I think. Oh no no no. Who cla- Remy clarified it? If anything, even Remy was listening properly. She even said she, like Richie's like a new man at this time and age. Yeah. Uh, right. <laughs> and then, and then, <laughs> time and age. Day and age. Yeah. <laughs> Day and time. There we go. Y'all get but, it. <laughs> we yeah we y'all get it y'all get it catch the drift. <laughs> um. But you know like uh even Remy had to like kind of step in and clarify like for Olivia because she was tripping right. Mm-hmm. She was like nah like Yandy was just saying she. She thinks both of y'all think you're right. Oh, she did she say that. She said yep. both of y'all think, think you're, you're right. right. And that's all I'm saying. Or that's all she's saying. And Yanni was like, yeah, like, you know, but nah. It kind of brushed off. I don't think it's going to turn into no more. She still wasn't having it. Yeah, she wasn't like, having it, but I don't think it's going to turn into nothing yeah. major. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. You, you could tell major, they, yeah. they, they didn't, like, leave the scene with them on bad terms. Yeah, yeah. Like, you know, the next scene for sure, we're, we're going to catch them kikiing and stuff. It better not be because they weren't serious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It better not be. But watch, they'll be all desperate for a storyline. They'll be like, all right. You two beef, Yandy and Olivia. It's all right. They been nice. Like the last episode. (laughs) But um, but no, but (laughs) we ain't got time for that, girl. Y'all better open it up for uh, season eleven. You Um, are so funny. Look, we'll see that reunion if not. Yeah. Um, but who (laughs) Olivia is beefing with now? Yeah. It's Cisco. Honestly, this whole oh, scene, y'all, Lord. I wasn't even surprised about. I was more like, uh, I was more taken back because I, w- I expected to go a different way. But knowing Cisco, I mean, we don't expect any type of loyalty, realness, <laughs> or yeah. honesty. Right? So I don't know. Right? Olivia, um, I'm sorry, but your bros are not your bros. Um, okay, I'm not going to throw Rich in the fire yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. not going to throw Rich in the fire just yet. Good but call. But Cisco, Good call. not your bro. Girl. He ain't nobody's bro. Bye. He ain't nobody's bro. Yeah, he nobody. He ain't even his own bro. I would say, is he even loyal to himself? I don't he know. No. But, you I know. Wouldn't. <laughs> I wouldn't. I don't even know. Himself. If he know how to spell loyal. I can't. <laughs> because he ain't it. Stop. Stop. Um, <laughs> but it's, it's kind of bad because you know how, like, how we glorify, like, we never see the man like Papoose. I've yeah. never seen a man like Cisco, right? Like, polar opposites. Like, Polar I see people opposites. not take credibility, but they still know how to, like, have some sympathy or, like, okay, I'll give you that. No, this man gives you nothing. Girl. He just... No, 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 but he... He leave you flatlined. But he tried. <laughs> he tried it, though. Remember when <laughs> Olivia, she, she gets up, <clears throat> walks out on him... He chases after her. He's like, live, live, come he on now. He chased her for camera opportunities. Girl, straight, <laughs> yeah, for some camera time. You're absolutely right. Because, that one genuine. Because what came out of his mouth was completely useless. It didn't change nothing. Was it not? He was talking about, uh, that was 10 years ago. And? Your point. And, and even Olivia was like, and what? He stole $117,000 from me. And, and you be just, my brother. You expect me to chill. Really? And you supposed to be my brother, too. Exactly. Exactly. And you and so oh so we didn't even talk about what it really yeah, happened. Right. Sorry, sorry. So we just got into all the other stuff. But mm. what basically happened? So Olivia and um Cisco sat down and she you know she wanted to get his back. I mean her she wanted her him to have her back and kind of back her up on this whole allegation thing that's going on right now. Mm-hmm. And so he basically goes like. I don't remember any of that. Mm, mm, I don't remember mm. saying any of that. And so she's like, what do you mean? Like, you're the one that told me. And then I went to my lawyers. My lawyers confirmed it. Mm. So I really, I want to say it really fast. Because this whole time in my in my head, when she even told me that Cisco was the one that relayed her the information, in my head I was thinking, why the 
freak will she even trust anything Cisco says mm. now that's what I've been thinking this whole time but I knew we'll get to the meaty potatoes soon <laughs> but I was like why would she even trust anything that Cisco says right. but then she goes and says well after Cisco told her the information she went and talked to her lawyers and her lawyers confirmed it Right. so I was like okay well maybe it really is true that some money was stolen okay mm-hmm. okay so we got that clear because honestly I was like I was still kind of sketchy because it came from Cisco no, right, so I was kind of right. like Olivia it may be true but then again it came from him so I, I don't know Yeah. but I mean her lawyers confirmed it but he's, he's like, denying. He was like, you know, well, me and Rich always had beef in the past. So, I mean, a lot of things could have happened. But she's like, but, dude, I, the reason why we're having this mess is because you told me. She said, I could have been still getting money stole from me had you not told me. Yeah. She said, you're the source of all of this. Yeah, she even thanked him. She's like, you're actually my saving grace. If it wasn't for you, exactly. I, I wouldn't have him. known. I'm actually happy with you, Cisco. That's she was And then to... you're telling me you don't remember telling Girl. me. Yeah, and then he sat there all like, I don't know. Oh, my kids. I don't remember. Oh, my kids. Do not Girl. put your kids in your lives. Yeah. Do not. That is such bad karma that he said on my... Ca- Ooh, you could have said on anything. You could have said on my car, on my house. <laughs> you said you could have... You said on my kid. How could you And you said it to make it believable, but Cisco, we would never believe you. I don't Straight. even care if you put your hand on the Bible. I still wouldn't believe you. Oh, so, mm-hmm. That's just how bad of a liar he is. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, seriously. No, but, but what's scary is... No, no, if anything, girl, that's how good of a liar oh. he is. Girl, he ain't good, though, because we see looks, right through it. Yeah, yeah. True story. <laughs> he ain't good. True story, but you know how like some people like when they lie, you, you, you can you tell. tell. Like they're all like, uh, uh, like you know, or whatever. He's so convincing. Girl, if he, no one knew him, he would be so convincing. You, exactly. Mm, he was go. looking at her in her eyes. He was speaking perfectly. Follow you know, her. All articulated. Girl, no stuttering, no fumbling, and he was just lying. Bold face liar is literally the definition of that man. You look I, up that word, it's his face. If like, anything, and then so it's crazy because next week we see that you know they were actually out of the restaurant. She was uh, looking for her car, but then in the next scene, we see that Rich is now there. So I guess they got back in the restaurant. I don't uh-huh. know how, but so who I'm... called Rich? Cisco. It must have been. It must have been. Good question. Cisco. Who called? Because it couldn't have been. But you Olivia. know what? We'll probably see because if they probably were like hashing out. They were like, well, what we call Rich. And uh, who knows? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah. That's what we call Rich. That's we'll next week, anyways. We'll yeah. see. But yeah. you guys, um, I just really just feel bad for her because I mean, she, I'm mean, clearly something was stolen from her, but it's kind of like, will she ever get the money? We know this is going to never have her back, so we, I'm not going to say that, but yeah. I just really want to see how this ends for all of them, mm-hmm. honestly and truthfully. So we'll see more of that next week. Mm-hmm. Got to keep going because there's a lot more. Oh my gosh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, um, another couple, um, that I want to talk, oh, real fast, (laughs) I missed something, real fast, regarding back to just, uh, this whole Olivia and Rich thing, Yeah. so Joe Papoose and, um, Rich, they all sit, sat down, so, you know how Olivia had her talk with Yandy and Remy, so basically Rich had that same talk with Joe and Papoose, Mm. and, you know, he was kind of, like, telling his side, you know, Mm. like, I don't owe her anything, you guys been the busy, y'all know how this works, and they're kind of more vouching for Olivia, like, Although this may be true, some still should have happened. You know, she's more heard that you or you guys were friends, if anything. Mm. And Joe goes, but if anything, she don't care about that song. She misses her man. Yeah, girl, I made a point to write that quote down. I was like, what did you just And the say? thing is, they said it and it ended. Yeah. So we don't even know what that meant. We don't even know if he, if he meant to say brother or if it was an accident her man, I was so, guys, if you know something about that, that too, yeah, let us know. Uh-huh. Because we have no idea what he meant by that. I actually, I had to verbatim take this quote. So, he said, she doesn't care about the record. She cares about the man she missed. That's a quote. Okay, so, that's um, verbatim. We ain't gonna get too much into it, okay. but if you guys know what he means by that, yeah. please let us know. Because Did Rich oh, Dollars and Olivia have a relationship? I mean, honestly, Rich be here with everybody, but we gonna hope it, we gonna hope it will stay brotherly and sisterly. See, girl, but, that, but don't you think real quick that that was the one relationship that didn't happen, like outside of business? That's the one relationship I didn't think Rich Dollars and well, Olivia dude. crossed, like, crossed, like, you know, into, like... I mean, well, we didn't see it happen, You know, but... as lovers or whatever, you know, flings. But I can see it happening because that's how Rich is. It's exactly. And he had a relationship outside of business with every single one of his female artists. Every single one he was messing and with. And I can see Olivia... But Olivia, I didn't think. I, I didn't think it would I be... I, didn't, I wouldn't think she would be that person, but if they have, like, a close relationship and he comes on to her, I feel like it kind of makes it easier. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because it's kind of like, well, we already close. We already love you as a bro. 
why not? You know what I'm saying? But we, we ain't gonna put that out and there. Then, we don't know. And then that's when you think you don't owe people money anymore. Ooh, kind of like Fresher and Jada. Okay. Oh, that's some tea. Okay, we gotta, yeah. we gotta move on. Okay, right, but yeah, right, let us know right. if you guys know any tea about that. We're just making our own thoughts. We don't know. That's what we do. Um, and then really quick, so um, another relationship that's on... I guess Edge, we can say now, um, is Joe and Sin. Oh, my gosh. Okay. So, they finally meet down. This is, like, the conversation I think we've all been waiting to see happen. Mm -hmm. Um, So, they finally meet down to talk. You know, they went to the uh, Erica's baby shower together. He posts her on Instagram. So, it's looking like it's on the up and up. And she also mentions that, you know, that they were having overnights, that, you know, they've been doing little stuff off the camera. Mm -hmm. So, she's like... I think we're on to something. Mm-hmm. But he's kind of like, so they sit out and talk. He's kind of like, well, I don't know what's going to happen here. And hit us with the quote that he said to her. I'm going to hit y'all with the quote. Okay. Real fast. Well, this isn't verbatim, um, but I will paraphrase very well. So Joe pretty much says to, to Sin that it's her issue, her issue dealing with waiting around for Joe, for him to get it together. Mm-hmm. That's what he said. He said, that's your problem. That you want, cause she, cause first she she made a comment about you know what do you expect me to do? You just want me to wait around for you to like be the man that I need you to be, mm-hmm. something along those lines. Yeah, and he, that's what he hit her with, girl. That's your problem. He hit her with, that's your problem. What? Or kind he feels of like all this stuff we've been doing. That's not enough. No, manipulation is that. That's that not is, enough, but we're still single, sir. Really? My problem is your problem. That's your problem, boo. That's, that's our problem. That's our, well, I mean, or it doesn't have to be. It doesn't have to be since problem. Yeah, true. See, and what sin needs to do is what. Um, um, Jennifer needs to do with fresher. You need to either set some severe boundaries and cause, you know, and really, really cause them to te- like to learn their lessons. Or you need to dip. You need to just have enough respect for yourself and have enough integrity and and just you know dignity. You have to have enough dignity to just be like, I don't deserve this. I gotta go. Yeah. If, if you're not gonna get right then I'm going to get right and leave this nonsense. Yeah, this conversation hurt my feelings because, I yeah. mean, I know you weren't rooting for them, but I was rooting for them, and it kind of just let us all know what is going to be the end-all, be-all. So they're, they're co-parents right now. Mm. So we'll see more of that, but we have to wrap, guys. Um, yeah. We actually got through all of our topics. Except Remy Ma, but I that's okay. <laughs> yeah, but you know, she's on the up and up too. Yeah. But until next week, guys, we have episode 14. I'm your host, Sierra Staff. You can find me on my social media or my Instagram at Sierra Stafford TV and my Twitter at Sierra B. Stafford. Yes, and y'all can find me on Instagram at I am sub dot subahilamarium and on Twitter at subahilamarium. Have a good night, y'all. Yes. Deuces. Our founder, Kevin Undergaro, and me, Maria Menunos, would like to thank you for tuning in to AfterBuzz TV. Remember, we're not just the first, we're the biggest in the world, and we're the only destination for all your favorite TV shows. Whatever you crave, we've got it. So go to AfterBuzzTV.com and check out our lineup. Buzz you later. <laughs> the views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals.